cuties welcome back to another video and if you're not a proper cutie you need to become one by hitting that subscribe button guys also make sure you hit the notification bell as well but come on over and join the proper cutie crew you know you want to in this video today I'm gonna to be showing you how I do my eyebrows I am NOT a makeup beauty guru I just know that I get compliments all the time on my eyebrows so I want to share with you what it is that I do for mine to look so good so so far I have my skin prepped because I am actually reviewing some elf camel CC cream so you guys see me looking all nice and smoothed out can't you see that see that cheekbone you know you love it but anyway so I'm gonna go ahead and get my materials for my eyebrows and then I'm gonna come back on the camera with it zoomed in so we can get started and show you guys how I do my lovely Atlanta brows, okay? <laughs> all right guys, so we are back and I have all the supplies out that I need. The only thing that's messed up for me today is the fact that I'm not home. I don't have the right tripod. And I'll try to shoot this video here on our vacation in Florida, but it's a little um, messed up. But anyway, to do your brows, well, I'll rephrase by saying, for me to do my brows, I only literally need four simple tools. I need a brow pencil, I need one of these little dual brushes, and then I need one of these little flat brushes. And I've had this brush here for forever. The camera's not focusing. There you go. I've had this brush here for forever. So it's all good. It works for me. And then the last item that I need is some concealer. And this is some NYX. Uh, what is it? Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer. So you can use any kind of concealer you want. You can use any brow pencil you want. Oh, I didn't tell you the name of this. The name of this brow pencil is NK Makeup. And the only thing that I say about brow pencils is get one of the auto liners because you don't have to keep uh, sharpening the pencil. But we're gonna get all up on you guys, right? And we're gonna come here and brush the brow. And excuse me if I continuously look to the side because I am trying to see um, my brow. So, what I do is I like to come and start at the bottom, and this is so hard doing this on camera because it's not focusing. Yeah, we'll back up a little bit. And you trace the bottom of that brow. Make sure you hit your arch there. Boom. Make sure you stop the tip right here. Your brows don't need to come here, 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 none of those places, okay? And then you wanna come in and trace the top of the brow. Make sure you hit that arch. And then make sure everything is skinny as you come down. I'm just gonna do a little self check here in the mirror. We're looking good, okay. So, I like to start at the end of my brow, well the middle really, and do like hair like strokes like this and keep your hands light. You can use your pinky finger to keep your hands stable so that you can keep your hand light because what you don't want to do is you don't want to have uh, too heavy of a brow. Okay, I know when the whole brow thing became big, they used to call them Atlanta brows because all the girls in Atlanta, you knew they were from Atlanta because they looked alike because their eyebrows were so heavy and painted on their face. But we're trying to do softer looks, okay? So I am gonna look in the mirror behind me, but you still should be able to see what it is that I'm doing. So yeah, you just wanna keep doing soft hair-like strokes all the way down the brow. And then for the front of the brow, same thing. 
some girls do the hair like strokes at the front you can but I don't do mine too heavy because I like the faded look so yeah we're just gonna make sure I don't have any gaps here at the end of the brow and boom as my algebra teacher used to say in middle school boom boom square root of two <laughs> I don't know why he said that but boom boom square root of two so then you want to take the concealer you want to dip that angled end of the brush in that concealer and I always like to pinch the end first just to make sure it's really 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 angled and excuse me if I keep looking to the side but I'm looking at my um, brow to make sure it's all good so then you want to come under with that angle brush and take light very light fine strokes mom on uh, yeah, mom on the camera guys I like to leave all my bloopers in there because I'm a real person I'm human so if I messed up on a word I messed up on the word we all do it but you want to take light fine strokes and come under the brow and then you want to take light fine strokes and go on top of the brow and guys literally I have gotten so good at this I can do it in like five minutes both brows but yeah come on top of that brow just like that Bam. okay then what I like to do is take the little spoolie in and then wham, wham, brush it out toward the bridge of your nose so that you are fading that brow. And also you want to make sure the little harsh line that's generally right here, fade that harsh line out. Nobody wants to see all that, okay? So once you brush out, you can start brushing up, over, making sure there are no sparse areas left behind. Then you want to take your flathead brush like this. And then you want to very carefully come under the brow and fade that concealer into your skin it should like melt now I like to leave um, a little bit of the concealer toward the front on the bottom because you know how when you get your eyebrows freshly cut you naturally have that line from the hair missing anyway so for the brow to kind of still look natural I leave it there um, to give it that natural look <laughs> but uh yeah so bam wham bam thank you ma'am all that's done so what I like to do afterwards is I like to take my finger and kind of clean up any harsh areas where I still see some concealer that didn't blend that well and then like once both of my eyebrows are generally done I'll come here and then I'll whoop, take that off to kind of fade that part out a little bit so guys I'm gonna go off camera finish the other brow and then I'll come back all right guys so we are back and I have finished my other brow and I'm just gonna let the camera go so if it angles you know why but um yeah, so I have finished my other brow. So this is the left one. This is the right one that we worked on together on camera. And that's as simple as one, two, three. I can't remember how many steps it was, but it's as simple as all those steps that I just showed you. But that's how I do my brows. Comment down below and tell me if you do a similar process to doing your eyebrows as well. Always keep in mind, guys, that your eyebrows are sisters. They are not twins. So they are never going to look identical. But as long as you can get them to 
look the way you want it, look good with your little makeup and all that cute little stuff, then you're all good to go. Like, don't sweat it. No pun intended, you know, when you sweat your brow. But uh, anyway, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you would like to see more videos like this, and guys, the lighting just changed on the video because the temperature on the camera is telling me that it's getting hot. So it's time to conclude this video. But always remember y'all, stay cool, calm, and proper. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And thank you so much as always for joining me on today's video. And I'll holler at y'all next time. Bye.